Carrie Noble combines dynamic vocals with piano-driven melodies. She's pop with soul. Writing for me has always been not an exercise, but this need to get something out. There's a cold wind coming in, blowing us apart. Till the sun brings us back, we got a piece of my heart. In concert and in conversation, she reveals her musical journey. Things that I was afraid to say in my real life, I could say in music. Tonight, The Playlist presents Carrie Noble in Concert. <laughs> Funding for The Playlist presents Carrie Noble in Concert is provided by the citizens of Minnesota through the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund. With us, you'll wake the beast. You've been warned it is the least that I could do. Funny how you can't see that you lose. Ooh, you're too busy trying to make the news. Oh, I hate to say it, babe, but I can see through you. And I don't go to church, but I'll pray for you. Oh. Stomp your feet, save it for your daddy. Hear that it don't fly. A word of advice find out who you want to fight before you run your mouth. Someone makes you cry. Funny how you can't see that you lose. Ooh, you're too busy trying to make the news. Oh, I hate to say it, babe, but I can see through you. Church, but I'll pray for you. Whoa. I know that you think you're justified. Oh, listening to other people's lies. I suggest you catch yourself. I'm not the light. Stop trying. Well, I grew up in Detroit, and uh, my father is a Southern Baptist pastor, and we didn't listen to very much secular music. More right with consequences, better than these fences, straddling the great unknown, playing it safe. And then somebody, my first year out of high school, gave me Joni Mitchell's Blue album. All the stars aligned at the right time in the right place where when they gave me that album, it, it's like it awakened inside of me the writer. And from that point on, from that one CD that somebody gave me, uh, I knew that that was what I wanted to do.
So music became this thing that, the things that I was afraid to say in my real life, I could say in music, and I could get away with it. starting this next song? Sure. Uh, which one is it? It's the stalker song. Does that narrow it down? Yeah. This is a nice song where um, uh, it's, I think it's a love song where you sometimes commit yourself so much that instead of talking to somebody about your concerns, you love them so much that you do your research before you bother them. <laughs> I have songs basically that can be categorized into songs about um, <clears throat> drinking, songs about breakups, and uh, songs about stalking. I will throw in an occasional alternative, but for the most part, that's what you're going to get. So I hope nobody's here on their honeymoon. That would be awkward. You belong to her, but I belong to you. Well, the stalking thing's kind of a joke. I really only have one stalking song. The rest are just, they seem like they could be interpreted that way, but they were not intended to be. Uh, drinking, I have a couple songs, but really, really it's more I was drinking when I wrote the song. So 
And then uh, relationships for the most part, that's what I, what I write about. It's hard to write a good love song that's happy because you don't want to sit down and write when you're happy. You want to be living, you know, your life. When you're sad, you want to hole up and, you know, get it all out there. So, but yeah, it's good for, relationships are good for writing. Didn't know if I would ever feel the same The way I used to feel before you'd gone Didn't know if the ache would ever go away I only knew I had to go
Thank you very much. Uh, my name is Carrie Noble. That's Matt Novacius on the drums. We've been playing music. We figured it out on Monday. We've been playing music together off and on for like 10 years. You're old, dude. I'm the same, but you're so old. How did that happen? God only knows. Matt and I just have a really fun thing, you know, and um, he's able to really... He's a really sensitive drummer, so he's able to either make it big or small depending on the room and everything. So he ends up providing, especially in that situation, more than you would expect a drummer to just show up and bang on some stuff. He and I have been playing these songs in different arrangements, but we've been playing these songs long enough that he doesn't need a set list. He can basically, like, you know, he'll hear me either tell a story to set it up or he'll hear the first couple notes and he'll just no right away. You know, after a while you get used to playing certain songs and so I've found that uh, for both of us to keep it interesting we just kind of figure out what, well, we don't figure out what feels good to play next. Do. I do. And then, are you like right now, are you wondering, like, what's next? What's about to happen? Are you afraid? Always. <laughs> perfect if you stopped on the street just to look if I was the girl they all wanted to be I wonder would I still be me what if I could be the smartest if I had all the answers to life if no one had ever met somebody like me I wonder would I still be someone that I like it's just Every single little missing and mixed up piece I don't know what you want to see But I am individually imperfect Incredible me What if I made all the papers If I was the next one to watch Everyone wanted a picture of me If I took a look, what would I see? If it's just me With every single little missing and mixed up piece I don't know what you want to see But I am individually Every single little missing or mixed up piece
I got a chance to go to um, visit the troops in Iraq. I got a phone call saying, you know, that they wanted to bring me and my band uh, to do a two-week tour, trying to hit as many bases as possible. When you come home, I'll wear that dress you like. So I wanted to do something that felt special for them, like some sort of my own gift back. So uh, I wrote this song called Your Home and got in the studio real fast and recorded it. And then we made it um, a free secret download on my website. Forgotten how to breathe since you've been away from me. And I guess I need to ask you to forgive me. So at every base, at every, you know, performance, anytime I would sing it, I would say now, you know, go to carrynoble.com, click on whatever tab. And then I think there was like a secret password or something and they could share it with their family members, anybody they wanted to, you know. We weren't trying to keep it secret for anybody but for, for it to be this special thing for them. And I got so many incredible emails after, after I got back where the men and women would go, they would have these kind of Skype dates with their families back home and they would download the song together and then they'd be looking at each other while the song would be playing and the stories that that they shared about you know how that made them feel or what that experience was like are some of the best emails that I will always have. When you come home I'll wear that dress you like When you come home We'll stay awake And I'll kiss you in the kitchen You'll touch me in the hall And we'll look in on our babies Before we make love your home If I'm acting like a fool it's cause you're home This is a dream to wake me cause you're home I don't want to fall asleep I've been asking God to let me see
can't see any of you. But I hear you. Thanks for coming out tonight. Some of you might know I do in Cities 97 in the morning, and I also, uh, thank you. Uh, I also kind of sneak into the Power Trip morning show on KFN from time to time. It's 822 right now outside, sunny skies and 33 degrees. Good morning, I'm Brian Oak, and that is Carrie Noble. Hi, Carrie. Hi, I'm Brian. What are you going to do this weekend? Um, you, me, zombie pub crawl? Brian Oak has been so generous, so willing to show me how things work. I just have to show up and talk. This has been a huge, huge couple of months for cities, it feels like. Or maybe this is just how cities rolls, and I'm just new. It is. But listen to her. You only have to listen to her for a little while to realize she's very smart. She's really funny. Uh, and people, she has that X factor, that sort of intangible people like Carrie Noble. So, the sampler seems like it's going to be a million years away. Yeah, no, that's going to be here even sooner. <laughs> I get that. <laughs> is so that how that deal. works? It's exactly how it works. I feel so fortunate because it really is like you have to pinch yourself and say, like, this is a job? Really? It's that fun. I've been doing radio for 20 years now in town. She's been doing it for six months, and she has no right being as good at it as she is. Mm -hmm. Well, don't you have to go over to KFAN here very shortly? Mm -hmm. okay. Chris Hockey, the producer of that show, um, he... 
and I were talking one day and he said, well, you should come on my show. And I said, right, because when you think of Carrie Noble, you think sports, you know, KFAN. And he said, well, we talk about things besides sports and you can kind of be our girl around town, you know, talk about movies and concerts and things like that. Uh, Carrie, Rams or Dolphins? Dolphins. Dolphins. Dolphins, okay. Really? There's the tiebreaker. There Carrie's going Dolphins. Okay. There you go. okay. They're respectful, but, they're, but they'll push it. Um, so my way to deal with them was to push it back. It's kind of my, you know, entrance into the radio deal. Ooh. Are you are you are you gaining love for the sport of football or not so much? Um, I have not watched any more football than I did before. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's not really rubbing off, really. Oh no. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, I gotta go. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. <laughs> I didn't mean to like that. I love those guys. <laughs> Some more than others. <laughs> Summer's sunny days I'm missing you already I can still see your face Sitting underneath the stars With a cold beer and old friends Talking till the sun comes up Then we do it again Well, you've become a part of me that I never want to lose Till we come back together No, I'll be missing you I think I heard Emily Red Eye Flight moving to Dallas. Is that what I, and if, if, is that what I heard? Yeah, I wrote that song with Kristen Hall, who was one of the original members of Sugarland. Um, she and I have written quite a few songs together, and um, we wanted to tell the story of a woman who takes on too much. Why does she always get more than she's got? And then I got a phone call out of the blue, probably a year after it was written, um, saying they wanted to use it in an episode of Grey's Anatomy. And, you know, it really was one of those things where, are you sure they're, are they talking? You sure you have the right artist? You sure you have the right song? Because this shouldn't happen to me, you know, but it did. And it was incredible. Somebody 
As I mentioned, I, I put out a, an album that um, was called More Than Santa, and it's it's a holiday record, but really it's done Carrie Noble style, so I just threw in some Santa or some snow or some whatever. And it's basically just more songs about stalking, drinking, and relationships. I went after it very specifically to write, you know, real songs that people can relate to as opposed to like, here comes Santa Claus or something like that. It's really easy. Give me a time. You know, I think sometimes during the holidays we focus on all the stuff that we can get and all the stuff that, you know, whatever, but times are hard. They're not easy, and I think sometimes we make it a lot harder than it has to be because the reality is if you're in love or if you are surrounded by loved ones, if you have friends, then you're already so blessed and so fortunate, and uh, that's what the song is really about, and uh, it's called Giving You My Love. Money will come and go Already something we both know Bracing ourselves against the cold Is nothing new Every now and again Inevitably something always ends But I can make do and supplement As long as I got you I can't buy a bunch of presents We don't have a fancy tree But I got everything that matters Standing right in front of me You can buy me gold and silver If you ask 
ask me, you've got enough Baby, on this Christmas morning Giving you my love Doesn't it always seem to be Everyone's chasing make-believe But being with you it's a hard to see